Hey guys, I'm vlogging this week, so I'll basically be filming all snippets all throughout the week of what I'm getting up to. I do have quite a busy week as well, so I thought it'd be a good one to film and basically show you guys what I get up to in a sort of average week. I'm meeting my sister, we're working today on a little project with Fresh Cosmetics, so I'm going to meet her at their Marleybone store, and it's a Christmas job, so I'm feeling really festive today, especially since I'm going to put on a really fluffy jacket in a minute, which I've been dying to wear. So I'm just off the tube in Central, and walking into Marleybone now, still haven't had a coffee yet, not had time. It's freezing! <laughs> I don't mind though because I'm just in a really good mood today. For those of you that are going to ask, this is a misguided coat. And I got it on ASOS, so I'm misguided on ASOS. It's really warm and soft. Love the colour. Okay, so I'm in the Marlebone Fresh store. I forgot how pretty it is around here. It's so nice. So nice for Christmas shopping. This is the original Fresh store. It's gorgeous. Look at this perfume display behind me. How cute. Um, so what me and Jessica are doing here today is we are shopping for Christmas gifts for each other. It's going to be a surprise. And then we're going to go take them back to mine and we are going to give them to each other. So I have to like work out what exactly it is she needs cosmetic wise. She travels a lot obviously. Um, it's going to be a test to see how well I know her and her skin. Also, we're going to be doing a giveaway on that YouTube video as well. So when you're seeing this, make sure you check back and you watch the fresh um, Christmas holiday video that I'm making because there's gonna be a real cool competition. Ready to shop, mi amor? Yeah, yeah I am. Baskets for shopping. Don't say I don't know how to treat my family. We have just been filming our fresh Christmas themed um, video. This will be going up on my YouTube in end of November. We're basically just talking all about what our family Christmas traditions are and what we're looking forward to. And we gave each other secret Santa gifts as well. Hence the mess. <laughs> Speaking of gifts, I've got something for you. More presents. Yeah, let me just get it. God, how exciting. I'm partnering with Ted Baker because uh, they've got some really amazing shoes at the moment and they were like, you can pick a pair that you want to gift someone special to you. Me. So I thought about you, you, <laughs> you, because Jessica needs, always needs new shoes, always you're Cinderella. Do. Always do. So I, I picked out this pair for go. Okay. Um, I think you really like them because they're kind of similar to ones that I've had in the past and you commented that you really <gasps> like them. Treat your feet. Treat your feet. Yes. <laughs> Okay, actually, I'm gonna open that. Yeah, open. <laughs> I can't get it off. Oh my god! Oh my god! <gasps> wow! Oh, they're oh my amazing. God. They are beautiful. They are stunning. I know. They also, so you don't like wearing heels that much. Like heels, she doesn't no. like wearing heels. She's on a plane all the time in heels. So I was like, yeah. I want to get you a pair of really stylish, oh fancy shoes. They are beautiful. That are flat. How cute are they? I love them. The architectural so bow. Uh, I love the copper detail here, and then on the little heel as well. Beautiful. Should I try it on? Yeah. Try them Shall on. I put my They're so nice. On? I want them. This is really weird because I looked at them and thought, oh no, my fat feet are not going to fit in them. But they're, they actually they fit. fit perfectly. Oh, they're really nice. Ooh. I absolutely love them. I'm not a foot model, but. Oh my god, and they're going so nice with jeans and like smart tra trousers. Oh trousers my god, they're beautiful. Well. You like, let me put the other one on and do a little catwalk. Yes, nailed it. Thanks, Emily. You're welcome. Oh, it's so nice. <laughs> Spash. So Jessica's just left me. She's off to Hatton Gardens to get her engagement ring resized. I'm gonna pop into Selfridges because I've got my eye on a bag that I wanna buy. So I really like this one, but it's actually super roomy inside. Also, you can actually hold it like double strap, like the Chanel, or you can like have it cross body. Oh my God, I really, really like this. You guys know that I have this one in the large. Honestly, best everyday bag I ever bought. I have this one, the Chloe Faye, but I've just seen these. I think they might be new. They're so nice. They've got the ring and the chain as well, but they're a little bit like boxier. <gasps> The Loewe. Oh, this is why I shouldn't come into store. Look, I've just seen that you can customize the straps now on the Loewe bags. That is so awesome. Here's all the options. These are apparently between 300 and 495. Okay, this is it. I was actually thinking about getting the tan one or the red one, and now tan with red strap. I feel like my prayers are being answered. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen a few weeks ago I came down to the SA Lauder counter because they're doing this really cool thing. 
where you can basically create your own bespoke lip colour. And I figured since you guys are always asking me what is on my lips, and it's usually one of two shades, either Magma or Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, I'm going to create my own custom lipstick that's kind of like a mix of those two. The lipsticks are ready, and I'm just going to get them engraved. Here is the engraving machine, so as you can see my lipstick's already in there waiting for a name. Morning guys, um, I've just woken up, well, about an hour ago, had some toast um, and done my makeup because I'm going into, well, I live in Shoreditch, but I'm going to Shoreditch to meet a brand called Never Fully Dressed, who I really like. We've agreed to do some social media shoots today. I'm shooting a few outfits for them. I wasn't sure if I was going to do this, to be honest. It wasn't paid. I do get a lot of people as a blogger approaching me to do like unpaid work and you always have to kind of weigh up the pros and cons of it um time is precious at the end of the day time is money and you know it's these social shoots where you essentially you go and you work for free as a model and then you get posted on their instagram i mean a lot of these fashion brands they do have quite a big following so you have to weigh up whether it's going to be good exposure for you or not i decided to do it it's only two hours this morning but i've woken up and i don't feel amazing today so i'm a little bit like Bruh. you know it's having to go to work and not getting paid it's a bit like Bruh. whatever it's fine i'll suck it up Um, changing in the loose. I really like this dress though. So nice. It's got the cutest little tassels on it. Pairing it with cowboy boots. Hey guys, I'm just about to pop out to um, the post office to do some returns. But I just checked my mail and something really cool came. And I thought I'd show you guys because I think some of you might be interested in it. Especially with Christmas around the corner. So you guys may or may not have heard of me talk about this brand before. It's called Fleur of England. They are my absolute favorite lingerie brand and they're doing something really cool at the moment um i don't know about you guys but i tend to buy new underwear like maybe twice a year and i get i treat myself to a three about three of these guys new sets every year because i like to have really beautiful lingerie that not only fits well but like looks beautiful too that's really important to me because otherwise i don't feel sexy if it doesn't fit anyway they've started this new thing where you can sign up to a knicker subscription service and i think it's actually quite genius because i don't know about you but when I buy pants, I buy them in bulk and then like over the months they get really shitty and like start to fade or I lose them. I don't know where they go, but they genuinely I think the washing machine's eating them. But these guys have a knicker subscription service that you can gift or sign up for and every month for either six months or 12 months they will send you a brand new pair of one of their luxury underwears this is the first month so i thought i would unbox it for you guys it looks like they sent over like a really lovely berry pair with lace and silk this is the aurora brief honestly i've never ever ever disappointed by the, the quality i know the woman who owns the brand fleur and she made out of her basement studio in bristol where i used to live i actually interned for her years ago so yeah how cool is that like a knicker subscription service and not just anyone like a really good quality sexy one they're beautiful i thought that was quite a good gift idea what do you guys think i'll link it um in the description box if you wanted to have a look into um the brand and see what their offering is i thought i'd just show you guys the last set i also got from them as well this is the antoinette boudoir bra like the um triangle lace bras are so comfortable the underwear ones are comfortable too but these ones are just really comfortable and they look so sexy on I'm looking forward to next month such a cool idea. I've literally been wearing these um, underwear sets for years. This is a shot that we took a few months ago in one of my favourite bras they do. So pretty. That's on my Instagram. Fave underwear brand ever. Look how pale I am! Oh my god! Winter is here. Mm. Today is a shoot day. Alice is on her way here. I've written out a schedule, a shoot schedule for us. It's pretty ambitious, especially since I'm not feeling 100%. I don't know what's up with me. We're also filming my autumn winter lookbook today. Yeah, and a few other bits and ask Emily. So yeah, I'm gonna... <laughs> Look at the state of me. I'm gonna get my tan on. This is like the tanning section of my bathroom. My favourites. Tan Lux and Isle of Paradise. This is my ultimate. The Tan Lux. Um, um, hydra mousse. Um, I also spritz this on my face maybe twice a week just to give my face a little bit of color. I think I'm going to use this today though because 
it's fast acting. Guys, I'm also gonna be taking you inside my wonderful, wonderful skincare cabinet today. Alice is gonna help me film my um, current day and night skincare routines because they've changed. I'm just gonna talk you guys through a few of my favorites as well. So that video will be up soon. So I've just done my hair. I'm gonna brush it out a little bit. For those of you wondering, how I get my like big waves. I use the Cloud9, it's the really big barrel tong. It's probably the biggest one they do actually. So yeah, I love this thing. It heats up really quickly and works really quick as well. Alice has come round. Hey. So we're gonna start with a really exciting makeup tutorial. You guys are fans of the Naked palettes, then you're gonna enjoy this because I've got the new cherry one. I'm gonna do some looks with that. My little setup, ring light, camera, ready to go. Just filmed my skincare medicine cabinet tour. Alice is just getting cutaways. Oh, right. <laughs> I've basically spoken through every single thing in here and what I use on a daily basis. I'm not good. <laughs> We've still got two more videos to shoot. Just racking them all up. I want to make sure I've got loads of content for going out before the end of the year. Not really being on emails today. I can hear them all like bipping, bipping, coming in, but they'll have to wait. The dressing table's looking very, very neat. We're about to film here. In from our shoot day. Taking my makeup off. I just had a burrito for dinner. I also had a Starbucks hot chocolate and I asked for two extra pumps. Me and Alice have almost finished all the brownies I made the other day. The winter diet truly has begun. <laughs> Cake and bread. So I've done the post shoot tidy up. Um, if you know, you know guys, uh, this place is a bombshell after shooting. And I just think it's looking really cute, so I give you a little show. I do actually have a flat tour on YouTube, so if you did want to see the entire contents of my flat and where I got everything, um, you can, I'll link it below. But I actually have a little newbie in my life. I just got this table from made.com, brass and glass. Before I had like a copper table there and I just felt like it like blocked out a lot of the room, so I wanted to get a glass table and a round one as well, just to like free up some space. I think it works really well. I also got a few new extra cushions from Made. I've also got something else coming from Made, but it's being made, lol, uh, right now. So that'll be here in a few weeks, but I will definitely show you guys when it arrives. How beautiful are my flowers as well? Hand picked and brought to me by someone special. It's six degrees outside. It's officially dropped into single digits. And I have a lisp in case you're wondering because I have a gum shield in. This is because I have TMJ, which is locked jaw on my right side, which means I can't fully open my mouth um, because this side is like permanently locked. So I'm supposed to wear this gum shield thing to sleep, but I never do because it's super uncomfortable. Um, but I thought I would stay because my jaw feels extra stiff. Anyway, boring stuff. Um, I wanted to show you this book that just arrived. I ordered it yesterday from Amazon. It arrived today. It's called The Magic. If you guys have read The Secret, then you might know about The Magic. I read The Secret years ago. I thought it was a really positive, like, PMA sort of uplifting book. But I'm, like, quite bad for thinking negatively. Um, and my friend Lauren, who's a blogger, Lauren Crow, she messaged me the other day and she said she's been doing the magic for eight days. It's like a workbook thing. And she has anxiety like me. And she says that she's just been feeling so grateful and happy about life. All her anxiety is gone. Um, I haven't opened it yet, but you basically um, work through tasks every day and it just gets you to like write down things that you're grateful for and that sort of thing. And it just keeps reinstilling in you like how good you actually have it or like all the positivity in your life and everything to be grateful for. So anything that gives me an extra positivity boost uh, is a good thing, right? Morning, guys. Excuse the state of me. I fake tan last night. Big day today. It's shoot day. And I'm gonna get a new camera today. I'm really excited about this. These sorts of decisions I don't take lightly. Um, obviously, I use cameras in my work, and I wanted something that was just a little bit better than my Olympus pen. I've been using Olympus pen. Some of you might know what Olympus pen is. It's like the classic blogger starter cam and it's been so good to me but it's just not up to speed with what I'm doing anymore. So I'm gonna get probably a Fuji film which I'm totally alien to and it's kind of daunting. So I'm gonna
gonna book in some workshops and try and learn how to use it properly. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. And then I'm meeting up with Alice and we're gonna be shooting some Amanda Wakely um, stuff. You might, guys might already know I do, um, I be doing their stuff every season for social media. I'm like the face of their online, I'm just their online model. Uh, so they give me some looks every season and I style them and I shoot them. It's really cool. It's a really cool job They're a lovely brand to work for. I'm going to the Cayman Islands in Two days for a week for a press trip. I'm so excited. I mean, it's middle of November here and The Sun is a distant memory as is my real tan <laughs> So yeah, it'll be so good. I'm also taking my sister with me. I got her on the trip as well and a few of the blogger friends that I'm that I'm good friends with. So um, I'm going to be vlogging that as well. So you're going to get some sunshine coming to my YouTube channel soon. So yeah, I tell you what, I when I started this vlog a few, like four days ago, I was feeling really, really under the weather. And I actually took a few days off and didn't film those days because I had no energy, no creativity. I couldn't get up in the morning. I was depressed. Um, but now it's all come back to me and I'm just like at, jumping out of bed at 8.30 like who am I? <laughs> Feels good. It's funny how you don't appreciate your health until it's gone, right? I am running late and I'm just about to head off but I wanted to show you guys this new coat. This is hands down the most expensive coat I have ever owned. I'm slightly embarrassed at how much it cost. It's from Max Mara but it was a gift uh, because I'm partnering with Selfridges on a coat campaign. This is camel hair. It's so warm. It just, it's beautiful. It's just a classic black coat. I'm gonna shoot it today. So guys, I've come into Jessup's and it's time to upgrade my camera. The only problem is I'm not sure whether to go for the the slightly older version or the brand new one that just came out. I'm not sure I even need this spec, but it's always tempting to get the newer version, isn't it? This one's doing a good cashback deal though, and I'm gonna trade in on my Olympus stuff as well. So I'm with Alice. We are at Amanda Wakeley, and this is our stylist rail of the looks that I'm styling today. Some really beautiful festive evening gowns. So nice, lots of sheer fabrics, quite floaty, 70s vibes. Having some trouble with this one. Oh my god, what's up? I don't know, I could hardly get it over my hips. Oh my god, it's a jumpsuit. I put my <laughs> I put my whole body in one leg. Oh, wow. Like, this is really tight. Why is it so tight? I've got my whole body in one leg. This is how it's supposed to look. Turns out I was in one leg. Both my legs in one leg. It's cool though, isn't it? Very nice. Moroccan 70s disco. Yeah, Moroccan, that's it. Moroccan? Yeah. Yeah, like with the tassels. It's very long. Yeah. They always do the alterations for you when you buy them, so that's why they always come out so long. Wow, look at the bodice though. That's amazing, isn't it? Yeehaw! Ye Yeehaw. <laughs> Is that what springs to mind when I put something like this on? Ye fucking ha. <laughs> Day has been great. <laughs> Today's been good. I, it's so funny. I, cu I come home from like wearing like 500 pound ball gowns, and all I want to do is put my hoodie on. Me and Alice have, um, we were just shooting some still life product shots, but the lights look totally gone now. But I did just look at some blogger mail that came in, and I wanted to show you guys because. I reckon a few of you are probably thinking about Christmas party outfits. I certainly am. I'm having a, a Christmas party at my flat. And I've also got like a few um, black tie dinners to go to. So I've been looking for some um, Christmas party heels. And Ted Baker has some really, really nice ones on offer this season. I've ordered a pair and they've sent it to me in this really, really cute box. So I'm just going to show you guys what I got. Because I've selected a pair that I thought would go with quite a few outfits. Oh, look, they've made it extra special. That's so sweet. Oh my God. I didn't expect that at all. Let's have a look at the actual shoes because I absolutely love these. They, I think they are so sex in the city. Say hello to Savio. I wanted a classic stiletto because I don't actually wear stilettos that much unless it's a really dressy event. Um, but I thought these were absolutely beautiful and really unique. As you can see, it's like a really nice satiny woven fabric in a navy, which is such a beautiful color. I know that like black is the shoe of choice all the time, but I wanted something 
something that was like classy and a little bit different. And what I love most about these heels is the really pretty dragonfly design in gold thread all over the shoe. And then the inside is cushioned um, and also it's rose gold colour as well which is just beautiful. <laughs> it's a Cinderella moment guys! Woo! Oh, oh my god. So pretty! I'd probably wear them with um, like silky ivory camisole or slip dress or like just loads of sequins. If your dad is anything like my dad, then he might be wanting a pair of slippers for Christmas. My dad gets a new pair every year. This year I'm treating him to an extra special pair of Ted Bakers. I picked up this Val scent pair because I just think they're like a little bit special. They're brown suede and they've got fully fur lined as well. So I really like the contrasting sole in blue. So I'm gonna actually tackle this big pile of blogger mail because it's been, I've been hoarding for two weeks. I've got a helper today as well. Nate calls this my pile of presents and I have to sh reassure him that it's not presents, it's business mail. Uh, oh, disappointment. Not for me. <laughs> What's that? Personalised gym jams. Oh wow, that's sweet. What's it? Oh, jewellery. Oh, from Ottoman Hands. Oh my gosh, they're so nice. Oh, they're so sweet. Ottoman Hands is like one of my favourite jewellery brands. I think they do really pretty bohemian jewellery. Oh, I love those. Their stuff's lovely. I'll link their site down below, guys. You should check them out. They haven't sent me stuff in years. Ah, it's the new perfume, the new version of their bestseller. The VS Bell, yeah. With the launch of our new campaign star in Julia Roberts. We Always star you. Julia Roberts. Who will you make happy today? Oh, I make you happy yeah. ever. Yeah. <laughs> these EOS new crystal clear uh, lip balms have just arrived. I've seen so many people unboxing these. They are crystal clear, unlike their usual ones that are like um, creamy looking. It says vegan formula without, oh, without mineral oils. That's so good. I thought they did do mineral oils. That's really impressed me. Okay, fine. I look forward to trying those. Okay, so Essie asked me if I wanted to receive the new collection for fall. And this is it. Ooh, it's pretty. This one looks really nice, like a rose gold colour. Beat to the moment. Also, this one looks kind of nice. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> this looks like it's all of Max Factor's Hero mascaras, including their new volume infusion mascara which is that center one there. The guys at Smashbox have sent over um, their brand new Studio Skin 15 hour wear hydrating foundation in two shades, as well as the Smooth and Blur primer to try out. And it comes in 40 shades and a range of different undertones. I have pinky colored skin, so I always buy a foundation that has yellow undertones to counteract the, the rosiness in my, in my skin. What about you, babe? I'm exhausted now. <laughs> Look at the chaos that happens. <laughs> You're like modern day Santa. Oh. It is fireworks night tonight. We're gonna go down to Victoria Park in East London. There's a Frankenstein themed fireworks display. Probably get some dinner at the pub afterwards. The lock on my door's messed up. What? <laughs> Come out already. If you didn't work in advertising, what would you do? Porn stop, footballer, farmer. <laughs> and he's wearing the pajamas that James Reed Tan gave me. I love them. It's really odd. Come on, let me borrow them. Because my name's on it. That means you're my bitch. Does it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, Nate really wanted to do face masks. Uh, You've been begging me all day. No, I haven't. Your outfit gives you away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying the new Bare Minerals Clay Mate. These just came through today actually. This one is the Mastio in Be Pure Be Dewy. It's really cool. They've got like two different masks in the pot so you can do multi-masking. I think these are going to be quite good. How are you getting along? You're wearing the... The Red Clay. The Red Clay by Sisley, which is a really nice one. It's starting to tingle. Is it? I'm getting a tingle. Hmm? <laughs> right guys, um, I have spent the day, would you believe it or not, packing for my trip to the Cayman Islands tomorrow. Uh, it took me seven hours to pack for seven days. Somebody's not quite right with that. 
Anyway, I'm gonna head out and get my nails done now um, and then make my way to my sister's house where I'm staying tonight so we can head to Heathrow nice and early tomorrow. And the Cayman Islands vlog will be up two weeks after this one goes up. So get back to my channel and you can see what we got up to there because it looks like paradise from where I'm standing. Also, let me know if you like this style of video. Um, it's just seeing what I am get up to everyday life here in London. I'm usually my vlogs are like event focused, so feedback appreciated. Leave me comments below and I'm gonna say goodbye because I'm about to get on a flight super early tomorrow. See you later.